a horrifying attack, the worst ever mass shooting in New Zealand. A gunman wearing a bulletproof vest moving from room to room at one mosque, killing men, women and children. That took around 15 minutes. Then a second mosque was attacked. Police haven't said if the same gunman was involved there. He's described by authorities as an anti-immigrant terrorist. It all began during Friday prayers, survivors saying they just prayed for the bullets to stop. This was a massacre without mercy. Minutes after the massacre, a stream of wounded begin arriving at city hospitals, many with multiple gunshot wounds. Armed police still hunting for gunmen, still unsure if the attacks are over. And everywhere, dazed survivors who'd been through unimaginable horror. You know, the blood is spitting on me, I mean, splashing on me. And I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to happen to me now. But fortunately, I'm alive. This man saw the killer. And he have helmet, and he have given the uh, glasses, and he's a dress of the military, and he's a gun, mission gun of the uh, M16. Minutes after the shooting, police were filmed arresting a man. They later held two other armed men and a woman and found two explosive devices attached to cars. So far, one person, a male in his late 20s, has been charged with murder and should appear in the Christchurch court tomorrow morning. Police say he was not on any New Zealand terror watch list. The massacre in Christchurch began around 1.40 in the afternoon at the Al Nur Mosque. More than 40 killed there. Then a mosque at Linwood was attacked and at least seven killed. Police recovered automatic weapons. In a horrifying twist, they say the man streamed his massacre live from a body camera and left a long anti-immigrant document. Say is that it is clear that this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. Clearly what has happened here is an extraordinary and unprecedented act of violence. And we stand here and condemn absolutely the attack that occurred today by an extremist right-wing violent terrorist. Police are advising New Zealanders to avoid all mosques after an attack that has stunned this normally peaceful country. Well, police sources have told our partners at Australia's Channel 7 that the killer is 28-year-old Brenton Tarrant and that he calmly reloaded his weapon during the massacre. They're raiding homes right now and they're investigating a threat to the Islamic community that the killer posted on Facebook just before the attack. It is a terrible irony, guys, that many of those killed were refugees from war zones seeking peace in what was one of the world's safest countries.